Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to take a look at the Transformers Kingdom Scorponok as well as the Transformers Kingdom Shadow Panther. And um, actually for today's review we're going to take a look at two figures which is something I rarely even do. The only time I ever did that was in my Buzzworthy videos and stuff like that and my ranking videos but uh, I just wanted to combine both of these characters into one review because I absolutely think these characters are probably about like the same in ranking I feel like these characters are really cool and I do apologize if I haven't posted in a while I know I just posted my my um, uh, studio series word your class sweep video but that was like two three weeks ago and I haven't been posting lately I do apologize but I will be be trying to post more often so let's get to the review the review um, we're gonna take a look at Scorponok on the left and Shadow Panther on the right um, we're gonna take a look at the articulation, the accessories and whatnot, everything, all the all the good stuff that we always do in every video. So, without further ado, let's first take a look at my most favorite of these two, that being the Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Scorponok. And uh, honestly, I feel like this figure is really, really good. Down to the texture, the details, and the paint on this figure are astonishing. The, the articulation is really great. He did come with two accessories, one being this little fly thingy. I'm not so sure how this was used, but um, I do not remember all that much. If someone could tell me in the comment section down below how it was used in the Beast Wars series, because I'm pretty sure this was from the Beast Wars series, as all these toys are inspired by it. Uh, I feel like it looks great. If we take a look at the texture slightly, you could slightly see that the eyes have a bit of a insect-like texture on it. And if you have the figure in person, you can see that as well. And right here, we have two missile um, launchers right here. So, yeah, we can see he launches little missiles from his hands and stuff. So, but overall, just taking a look at the figure, my goodness, I really did like how they, how they sculpted this figure really well. Um, sadly for my copy, this, this whole region will not close for some reason due to the transformation or something. It is really difficult. The only way it'll close if I, if I dislocate this piece right here, but honestly, it just looks he just looks like an ugly mess like that although it does give him a bit hype but i do not like how he looks like but oh wait i think i accidentally fixed him but um honestly this figure looks really really cool let's take a look at the the tension that he has right here on the face we can see he has uh, um we can see that it's been painted in a golden golden color sculpted really nice looks really nice if as we go down the torso we can see this um the sculpting and detailing i really do like that i really wish they would have sculpted a bit more on toward the toward the legs but overall it looks really good um the the lower part of the legs look really nice painted really well and i and they are a bit different from each other and i will tell you why later on in the video that is mostly due to transformation but overall the legs look really great the shoulders look great the underside looks nice. I really wish they would have covered this, but just a small critique that I have. Right here on the top, we can see some of the parts that are going to be in the more visible in the scorpion mode. Um, right here on the hand, we can see it's sculpted really good. You could open this up and even detach the top piece. Um, and I don't think I don't think that that's something m many collectors would do. In fact, no one would do that. But that's just something you can do. Um, right here, we can see that his hands they look really really cool you could pose him in a in a position that makes him look look like he's gonna he's ready to shoot at any maximals or anything so yeah overall scorponok is a really really great figure i honestly really like this guy when i first picked him up at target i was mind blown because i was like no way i found him but but overall a really great figure not the best kingdom figure the best kingdom figures either galvatron or rodimus prime not the best but overall a really really great neat figure now let's jump right into shadow panther and then after that we'll take the articulate take a look at the articulation on both characters and for shadow panther this is a whole other story this guy is actually really really cool i honestly i feel like i like this guy get this guy better than scorpion knock now i'm now just taking a look at him he looks really really cool where the paint work is concerned it looks amazing the texture even um even though this is a cheetor remold uh, the kingdom cheetor remold but in black i really do like how this looks like resembles how how black panthers look like um the the mutant head looks amazing i really like all this attention to detail right here as we 
If you skim on the back, we can see the how, the the, sha the the Shadow Panther legs, how they look like. But we'll pay more attention in in Panther mode. Right here, we can see for the legs, they look really really nice. I feel like it's sculpted really well. He did come with one accessory, being this tail whip slash spike thingy accessory. Um, it looks it's like a tail whip, but the, at the other side, it's a spike, so he can stab any Maximus he sees and stuff. So overall, this is a really, really great figure. If we take a look, I really did like this tiny attention to detail that they even included the Predacon insignia on his arm, which is something I was not expecting. Um, I believe Air Razor had a similar thing as well on her, I believe her, this same arm. She had the Maximal insignia, so I'll show you later on in the video. Right here for the legs, um, we can see nice attention to detail, um, the paint. Right here, I do like the texture on the lower toes, torso, and around this area, I do like how there is a fur texture, even though there's no fur. I really do like how they implied that this guy is hairy and stuff, and the legs look really nice. Although, I would have preferred if they painted it some more. I don't know why, these just look like tiny little shoes, but I feel like these these look nice. They'll, they'll do for the figure, and I do like that um, this area, this head area I really do like how it pops out it, may, it makes the figure outstand more makes him look look more evil he makes him look evil like a rival against Cheetor and stuff and fortunately I do not have Cheetor at the moment but once I do get him I will show you really in-depth comparison and stuff like that um so just taking a look at the the figure overall a really really nice really nice figure um Honestly, I feel now I now I changed my mind that this guy is now my favorite of the two. And speaking of the two, now let's bring in Scorponok into the into the equation. And honestly, both of these characters look really great. Both of them are sold separately. Both are deluxe classes, which means they are twenty dollars each. Each one. You could still find them at Target, even though um, Kingdom is start the the War for Cybertron line is gonna no longer be in targets and walmart's pretty soon and it's going to be replaced by legacy honestly i feel like legacy it, um it's starting off to rough start but overall it's getting some really really great figures coming soon and for the next studios for the studio series of 2022 we're, we are expecting probably the fallen or age of extinction galvatron so um stay tuned on the channel and uh, and when did they ever get revealed i might do a video like of my reaction and stuff like that but going back to this um now let's take a look at the articulation. First we'll go over Scorpion Eye. Right here we could turn his whole arm around, the bicep, um, full 360 degree motion. Um, right here we get past 90, well we get like, we got like 180 degrees right here. Um, the whole arm can rotate, open and close. The head is on a ball joint so it can look up, down, left, left to right, barely tilt slide to slide. Um, the legs could kick up, backwards, um, the knee could go way past 90 degrees the foot um the foot has a ankle rocker joint i believe so it has a hinge joint so that it can move and stuff and the same could apply to the leg where it could open and close like that um for the tail he does have a hinge joint right here and a ball joint right here so overall not the best not the best articulated um tail on this figure but overall a really really cool cool release now let's take a look at Shadow Panther. Now, Shadow Panther, just like Cheetor, if you own that figure, he has the same articulation. So, um, he has butterfly joints on the shoulders, hinge joints on the shoulders as well. Could bend past 90 degrees, probably at a, looks like a 45 degree angle, maybe. Um, right here, we have torso rotation. We have, we could make him do the splits, but it'll just drop back, back down. Um, Right here for the knee, we have 90 degree motion. The leg, we sadly we can't. Oh wait, we can. We can move it like this. We can move it up and down, left and right. Um, we could tilt the whole leg side to side and everything. The head is as well as a ball joint, as you could see. We could even see that it's on the ball joint right there. So yeah. Overall, this is a really, really well articulated figure, and I was not expecting this because most uh, deluxes don't do that. They don't include. Um, wrist rotation but I am so glad that they did for this guy so now that now that that is done now let's do a comparison of Scorponok and Shadow Panther to other Transformer figures so here for a quick comparison here we have a modified Galvatron that I made 
and a modified Cyclonus and a modified Rodimus Prime, I combine them with the fossilizers to come up with some sort of mutant mutant form for them, and I think that this looks really sick. I'll do a separate video on really cool alternate ways you could use the fossilizers to make your transformers look so so cool um so overall comparing how galvatron size to him we can see galvatron absolutely towers him and if we just put these guys on a same level we can see no matter what galvatron rodimus and cyclonus will always tower these small little guys and will dwarf them to make them look really really small now that was it for the size comparisons. Now let's move on to the transformation of both figures. So starting off with the transformation of Shadow Panther is real quite simple. If you know the Shadow Pan if you know the Shadow Transfer if you know the transformation for Cheetor, you don't have to see the Shadow um Shadow Panther transformation. You could skip to the Scorponok if you do not have that figure. Or if you have nine none of these figures at all. Go, just pay attention to the transformation. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is get your figure up close. You're going to get his head, tilt it up, then you're going to flip it like this. Make sure that it's facing the other way. After that, you're going to disengage this whole region right here, like that. And I'm just going to warn you that the mouth has already been opened. So, this is a thing I was like, where's the mouth? I thought it broke off, but no, the mouth is right here. So, you're just going to close it like that. After that, you're just going to have to get this head cover the regular head like that and then we could see how this figure is turning out and my goodness honestly like this looks really really creepy but um as we just turn this around we're gonna after that we're gonna have to combine both halves of this torso region make sure the black regions are facing outward so that because this is gonna be the fur region so you just gonna have to make sure this faces outward and then the same thing we'll have to apply to this side, face outward like so. So you just can make sure that is facing outward. And then you're going to combine both halves like this into one until you see the wrists facing toward you at the bottom right here. So once those two halves are complete, you're going to move the, the front legs like this. And we can already see how the body is forming for this guy. After that, you're just going to get the feet, tuck them inside right here, and that will push these feet out. And do the same process to the other side push those feet out and then after that you're just gonna move this piece like that you move this whole leg region like this move it down like that and make sure that it does that that this figure um the, the back legs they have to be flat on the ground so that this guy could could stand properly or else it, it, it'll look like a total mess near the back and now we can see he is fully transformed up but we are not finished what's a what is a tiger i mean what is a big cat without a tail big cat without a tail so we're gonna put his tail in right there in that slot and boom we have his tail connected and honestly this guy looks really really cool a really simple easy transformation um even even the even um people who are terrible at transforming transformers i will assure you you guys will have fun with this figure so just taking a look at the attention to detail on, on shadow panther my goodness hasbro has really gone all out except i feel like this was just a, a lazy copy copy and paste but i'll um, but either, either way, it is a really, really great figure. I felt like the Cheetor figure was really great when I first saw it. And I feel like they did a really good job. I just really wish that they would have found some sort of way to, to, I don't know, cover this region. It just looks so incomplete right here. But overall, that's just a minor critique I have. Um, I will display, be displaying him like this on the shelf. Or with the other Predacons like Scorponok, Black Arachnia, whenever I get Black Arachnia. Um, Dinobot and Beast Wars Megatron and all those other guys in Waspinator. So now that we have Shadow Panther complete, I'm just gonna put him off to the side for right now. And even just to make the make the background look a bit more even, I'm just gonna put Rhinox in the background. Uh, so now we're gonna get this guy, Scorponok, and we're gonna transform him. Now his transformation is in fact diff more difficult than I thought. It's it, it's a little fiddly, but we'll get through it together. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go towards the back. You're going to lift this whole tail region. You're going to get the legs, flip them like this, flip these like that. Get the, this pair of two. You're going to flip it around, get that pair of two, 
whoops, get that player of two, flip it around, and the hinds legs, you're going to flip them around. Now that that is done, you're going to lift this whole region up, and then after that, you're going to unfold that part right there. And now, now that that is done, you're going to move this whole region right here, the shoulder pieces, and we can already see how the scorpion will will look like so after that now that that is done you're gonna, gonna disengage this piece if it isn't already connected so you're gonna open this up disengage this piece right here make sure that is open up it has to stay open for some reason i do not like how it looks like but oh well that's what hasbro has gone with and then after that we're gonna then move this piece i believe right here and then we're gonna move this piece right here so we're gonna have to tap these pieces together like so until it makes this sort sort of weird weird formation where the legs are honestly i do not have, like how it looks like let me try the other side but this is what hasbro has intended you see what i mean by it's by it's fiddly um it's not the worst of transformations believe me i've done with worse transformers such as the the studio series, um, studio series Volkswagen Bumblebee, believe me, that's one of the worst Transformers ever, but I think that Scorponok here looks really good. Now, um, I'll fix that piece off screen, and then I'll show you how it looks like. We're gonna then, we're gonna then align the, the hands till they're facing you, lower this whole region down, not the head, you're gonna lower this whole region down till it clicks. And you will notice that some of the some of the arms will in fact disengage, but they'll pop off. But you're just gonna have to do that. And now, with that being said, here we have Scorponok and Shadow Panther and Rhinox in the background, fully transformed into their into their awesome Panther and Scorpion mode. So I will show you a shot of them right now, how they both do look like in this next part of the video. But here we have both of the characters fully transformed, and I did leave out a slight step that you're gonna have to tuck in the head when these two chest panels are open. And the and I was right the first time when I was um, trying to put this in. So yeah, back back on the subject. Um, both of these figures look really really great. As we can see, they do scale. Although a scorpion should not be this big, it should be that big compared to a panther. But overall, as we know. Transformers can um, change the toys can change your sizes. So um, First let's take a look at Shadow Panther at the attention to detail and I think they did a really good job We already took a look at him. So now let's take a look at Scorponok as we can see Scorponok looks Amazing. I really do like how it look how this guy looks like and just to plop in the accessories Which I did forget to do we could we put his I like to put his fly accessory in this hand and then his missile accessory in the other hand just like that when both of them are inside I like to have them have his hands closed like this and then when they open they could shoot out missiles at any any Maximo or any betrayed Predacon such as Danobot in their way or anything I really do like how these two look together very beast war it gives me so much nostalgia of the OG cartoon because I did watch the OG cartoon a long time ago but I do not remember any of it so just Scorponok gives me nostalgia I'm not so sure if Shadow Panther was in the cartoon or not but overall a really great inclusion and a great addition to the collection both the figures look really really great so now that about concludes my video now i will give you my final thoughts and analysis of these two characters so here we have both shadow panther and scorponok here ready for battle i'm i'm absolutely mind blown what hasbro has done with these figures these are really great figures not the best they're decent really great figures they're both deluxes twenty dollars you can get them at target amazon hasbro pulse Walmart and etc uh, and eBay but uh, if you do not have these figures I do advise that you do get them they are really fun to play with especially if you have many more Transformers figures they will fit right in with your deluxes Voyagers and later classes now uh, in case you don't know Voyager classes are figures that are six inches and up deluxe classes are four to five inches core classes are three inches leader classes are eight inches Commander classes are usually 11 inches, and Titan classes are usually 22 inches. So they'll fit in really, really nice in your Transformers collection. Uh, 
right here we have Air Razor ready to to fight um Shadow Panther right here as Shadow Panther gets his his whole spiky thing ready and and so is Scorpionok ready to fire any other and Maximal. So I thank you all for watching. I will be posting more videos. I will be posting more of my stop motion movie announcements and stuff like that. And if you haven't checked so already, go to my community part of the my channel and I will I do post stuff and everything about my stop motion movie little pictures of stuff about the transformers and stuff just to get people uh, interested into the channel and everything so yeah um, check out the community side I really do recommend it leave a like hit a comment and I did leave a question on the stop motion thing please respond if you haven't done so already but um, and now back to the video I thank you all for watching please subscribe leave a nice comment and I will see you at the next Transformer Studio Series or War for Cybertron or even Legacy by the end of this year video. Until always, stay safe, stay at home, eat your vegetables. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Goodbye.